Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, welcome to the latest edition of this top-down shooter tutorial. Uh, so in the last episode, we created enemies that spawned randomly above our viewport and then uh, flew down the screen. So in this episode, I'd like to add HP to our enemies as well as a way to lower that HP and have them be destroyed. So let's go ahead and open up our object enemy and get right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a create event, which means as soon as the enemy is created, it's going to execute all this code once. And what we're going to do is set a variable and call that HP. Now what this is going to do is set a local instance variable, so just for this instance of the enemy, and set that to, let's choose three. And um, that's all we have to do here. Now let's also, in our step event, let's add a new if statement. So we'll add it, why not, let's just add it up here. We'll say if HP is less or equal to zero, then uh, destroy instance. Now uh, we're not putting any animations or effects or sprites or anything uh, fancy like particles and stuff like that when the destruct destruction happens so when you destroy the enemy nothing's gonna flash on the screen or anything but it is gonna get rid of the enemy object that way uh, we can get the base of the game working and know that everything is happening and then add the special effects and cool stuff later so um, whenever the HP is equal to zero and it starts at three um, it will destroy itself which is kind of perfect that's what we need so we can close our object enemy and now we're gonna open our object laser and in our object laser Let's go ahead and add a collision event with the enemy and say when our laser collides with the enemy we want to assign a variable and that variable is HP and we don't want it um, to assign HP to our laser because that would be silly we want to assign it to other now um, you might be tempted to choose object enemy here because that's what we're targeting but we don't want to target all of the object enemy objects we only want to target the other object that we hit so we'll choose other and um, we don't and we want to set it to negative one because we want each hit to do uh, one damage but we can't just set it to negative one because that means every time a bullet hits it it'll go from three right to negative one even if you just hit it once uh, so we want to do it relative to whatever the HP is currently at. So if it's at three, it'll go down to two. And uh, after it does this, uh, and you'll notice the purple outline as well as um, on other over here, that's how you can confirm that um, you set it to do the, to the other instance. Uh, now we also want to destroy this instance. So what this is gonna do is destroy the bullet um, every time it hits an enemy. So it'll only destroy that bullet that actually collided with the enemy. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, let's try it out, shall we? Uh, let's hit play. And uh, what should happen now is we should have enemies that come down the screen with the opportunity to shoot at them. Um, and when a bullet collides with an enemy object, the bullet should disappear and destroy itself. And if the enemy is hit with three bullets, uh, it should destroy the enemy. So let's go ahead and fly around and see. Uh, perfect. So the bullets are going away, as are the enemies once they've been hit three times. So as you can see, it's nothing too fancy right now, because the, there's no danger to the player, and there's no special effects when uh, the enemy is destroyed, but you can easily see how we're starting to build our base gameplay and our gameplay mechanics, because now we have a way to actually... Um, do damage to an enemy and and make things happen on the screen so in the next video we'll probably work on a way to uh, add some more uh, depth to the enemies for example allowing them to shoot back and um, perhaps even do other types of damage to the player like colliding with the player um, and we may even work on a score system to start keeping score the more damage you do all right, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments section below. And if you like these videos and are um, benefiting from them and would like to support me, feel free to jump over to my Patreon page, and um, I would absolutely love the support. Um, so thank you so much, and have a great day. Peace.